Hi, my name is Delmarche Walker. Welcome to my channel. And I hope everyone is doing great today. What I want to talk about is Genesis 11. Um, I just want to share some thoughts I've been having about that chapter. Um, in that chapter, everyone there is a descendant of Noah. This is after the flood happened and the earth was repopulated with Noah's and his, um, his family, his sons and everything like that. And so they decided to build a tower and have the tower go up to heaven. And when God seen this, he came down and um, he confused their language. So initially everyone was speaking the same language. And then um, when God came down, he disrupted their language because he felt that if they can do that, what more would they, they strive to do? What more would they do than just building a tower to heaven? So he wanted to more or less put a stop to that or slow that down by confusing their language. So now they can't communicate with one another. And so each group went in, went to, um, in their, excuse me, each group went in different directions throughout the land. And so when reading that, I was also thinking about, okay, God is God. So even though they wanted to build a tower to heaven, they couldn't really, they couldn't actually do it. So it must not have been, because it's like with us, even though we're shooting rockets up into space, shooting satellites up into space, putting um, rovers on Mars, we still haven't reached heaven. So just like we're reaching for the, un the unknown or whatever is out there, we're still able to do it, but we're not reaching heaven. So it's like, why not allow those people to do it because they wouldn't have reached heaven anyway. It wasn't like they were going to be knocking on, on the pearly gates of heaven saying, God, let me in. But he felt the need to stop them from, well, this is my take on it. Let me put it that way. I felt that he stopped them from doing that and separated people, you know, have them with different languages because of the mentality. If they would have did that, even if they wouldn't have reached heaven, the mentality they would have had, the same mentality we have now, even though we know we're destroying the world, man haven't stopped. They're continuing to do, they continue to do that to the point that they're fe feeling like if I destroy this world, I can always go to a different planet. There's so many planets out there in the solar system. I can go out to another one. You know, if you look at how destructive mankind is, look at space. How you get all this space junk in space? How do you get space junk on other planets? How do you get trash on the moon? That is just so disrespectful. So if you're not taking care, you know, they always say take care of where you're at now. Every time you hear, see these little quotes go by on, on, on social media, you, you know, like I said, a lot of people like just putting out quotes. You know, it's always take care of what you got, take care of a little bit and you get more and this, then the other. We no one even care about taking care of the planet. So if you don't care about taking care of the planet, what other, what more is there out there? More what? More planets that you can actually go move and live on because you destroyed this one. And like I said, the rate that mankind is going, they're also destroying other planets out there. Just like with God confusing those people, like I said, he slowed them down. But when you look at us today, we have nuclear bombs. One nuclear bomb can set off everything and destroy the whole world. So it's like mankind is hell bent on destroying themselves. You know, God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. God destroyed this world with the flood. Now mankind is destroying it because I guess they feel like they're just as, as superior as God. They can be godly. They can control life and death. And when the last time I checked, that was, that was God's, you know, up to God to control life or death. But mankind feel like they want to do it. They want to be able to create life. And if they can't create a human life, they want to be able to create um, artificial life. And then when you look at the things that China doing, like China want to go past creating life to the point of controlling the mind, being able to control 
things you do, things you see. If you have a thought that it feel is that triggers something and is against the communist party, you might end up getting locked up. And um, all these other companies that are still doing business with China, they're just about the money. They can care less about mankind. Because I guess, like I said, if mankind destroy the world, I don't know what they're gonna get away with. You know, it's like, okay, I got all this money, whoop, you know, it's up in smoke. But I guess they don't care. I guess they don't care. As, as long as their bottom line is, I got money, that's all that matter. You know, I can care less how China is doing their own people. I could care less what China is doing on this end. I can care, care less that China is, this, is, is one of the people that are, one of the countries that are destroying the world. And when I, um, it's a video I had did a while back and I spoke about doing challenges. Like a lot of people, I don't have TikTok, but sometimes I see, you know, going through my feed on my um, stories, other people post things they have seen on TikTok. And it was this one particular challenge that was going around that I really didn't like. And I talked about it in that last, um, not last, but one of the other videos that I did, I talked about it. And I was saying, you know, it's like, sometimes you have to stop and think, why is this challenge important? Why, are they, why who started this challenge? Why are they doing this challenge? Because sometimes you see things that are so simple, but it's about getting data. How many people we can get to respond in this way? How many people, it's everything, almost everything you do, especially on the internet, it's about getting data and um, using that data to, to, to move to the next level. And like I said, I really don't know how TikTok works, so I can't speak on that um, specifically, but you know, sometimes you gotta back up and say, you know, I'm not gonna do this challenge. I don't, you know, I don't see the point of this challenge. And I, I don't, you know, it, it's not making any sense um, who started it, why they started it, what was the motive behind it. We're in a world now where, unfortunately, a lot of people don't think, they just react, they just do. And sometimes they just decide to do something because everyone else is doing it and they don't want to feel left out. So like, once again, they have that herd mentality. Oh, everyone else is doing this. I don't want to be left behind. I'm going to do it too. But sometimes you got to back up and, and ask certain questions like, okay, why is this relevant? Why is this important? Why do you need my information for this? Or why do you need my information for that? Because sometimes it's just storing data to use at some other point. And um, that's basically it that I just wanted to say. It's like, you gotta be careful about what you do. Oh, my mind sometimes. The other thing that I wanted to um, mention, I'm not saying that this is going to happen, but um, everyone is is wanting to go in a direction. I'm not saying it's bad. Let me put it this way. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm not saying it's good, but just be mindful. Like I said, a lot of times, just kind of be mindful of things that, that are coming along. You know, a lot of people just want to jump on things as far as, oh, this is new. This is inventive. This is the next, the next big thing. It may be you, but sometimes you don't have to be the first one to jump in or to jump on it or whatever the case may be. Sometimes you might want to just kind of, you know, it's, uh, it, it's very good to know what's out there. It's very good to know, um, you know, what's coming down the pipeline and different things like that. But try to get as much information as you can about whatever it is or whatever it may be. And it, it kind of ties in with China and how they want to do mind control. Okay, just say for instance, I had a handheld video game or I was playing a game on my, my phone or on a tablet or whatever. I'm still aware and can see what was going on around me. Even if consciously I might be into this game, I can still look up and see this, look up and see that and different things like that. They want to take everything to the metaverse. And eventually they want to just have it where you have the glasses on so it could be almost like a real world experience because now you're more in tune and feel like you're really there in live action with, with whatever you're seeing. 
with those glasses on, with those, I don't know what you call them, but with those things on, now you're completely tuned out to the outside world. You don't, you don't really know what's going on on the outside world. Everything is what you're seeing visually within this, this thing. Just like some people have, like some people have, like if lights start flashing all of a sudden, they can have a seizure. I forgot what that's called, but you know, they can be sitting there and all of a sudden these lights start flashing and it causes them to have a seizure. When I was growing up um, as a kid, we used to have these Saturday morning cartoons and they will always show toys on there, like toys you can get, even if it wasn't like during Christmas time, just on a Saturday showing all these great toys that as a kid you want and they showing all these cereals that as a kid you want. But another thing they was also doing is flashing slip, <laughs> subliminal messages within those commercials to make you as a, as a child want to go, even though it's so fast, you don't even see it. You don't even know it's there, but subconsciously your mind picks up on it and you'd be like, Oh, I want that. Whatever it is, it's like all of a sudden you, you want it. You really have to have it. So just imagine, like I said, you're in this world where this is the only thing you're seeing. There's no outside stimulation just in this world. What can they do at that point? You know, can they cause you to have a seizure with light start flashing? Are they going to start flashing <laughs> subliminal messages to you to have you do certain things? All of a sudden now you're desiring this or now you're desiring that and you really don't know why all of a sudden you want this, that or the other because these messages, because like I said, who's regulating it? Who's saying what they can and can't do in the Mega, um, met, metaverse met, metaverse y'all know what i'm talking about so you know who's regulating that who say you know you're all of a sudden somebody wants you to buy this product and now you're just i have to have this product so just be kind of careful really you know a lot of people don't want to think of think of the outside world as being connected we're all connected we're everything works together and if you don't understand how it how it works together, believe me, it does work together. What's going on in other countries do affect us here in America. What's going on in America do affect people in other countries. And you have to be aware of that. So just be aware of things that you are consuming. Try to understand why are you consuming these things? Why do you feel like you need to be on it to be able to do this, to be able to do that? And I guess it's easy for me to say or feel this way because I grew up in a time where there was no such thing as internet. And so it's, I don't feel like I, I, I feel like I have the opportunity to see the best, the best of both worlds and the worst of both, both worlds. So I know how it is, you know, like some people don't know how, what it is to not have a cell phone. I knew, I know what it is to be, have to have quarters and go to a pay phone to make a phone call if you didn't have a phone inside your house. Some people don't know that. Some people never experienced that. Some people, well, basically you would never experience that. So it's like certain things I see as foundational. And even though we're not doing those things today, but it gives you a certain foundation that people that came later would never have. They would never have that foundation. And so it kind of may kind of throw you off as far as thinking and thinking a different way, thinking a certain way. And so I just want to kind of like throw that out there to be more, more mindful of things that are going on around you, be more mindful of why you're doing certain things, be more mindful of why, why certain things have been done and why everybody feel like they need to be a part of it, you know, just kind of think that that's basically what I want to say. Just kind of be open-minded and kind of think, 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 think about things, but that's it. Hope everybody is having a great day. Peace.